Argentinian waiter Brian Nahuel Pais, one of three suspects under investigation for Liam Payne's tragic death, denies supplying drugs to the former One Direction star. Pais claims he met Payne twice at his hotel before Payne's fatal fall from a balcony in October. He insists they took drugs together, but says he never supplied or accepted money for them. Prosecutor Andres Madrea charged Pais and two others with abandonment of a person followed by death and narcotics-related crimes. Payne's friend, Rogelio Norris, also denied involvement, expressing heartbreak over the loss. Toxicology reports indicated multiple substances in Payne's system. Liam Payne's tragic death was no accident. Reports suggest it was a premeditated act involving two s workers, with the planning allegedly beginning two weeks prior. The circumstances raise serious concerns about foul play, not suicide. We must push for a thorough investigation to uncover the truth and hold those responsible accountable. Let's stand together to demand justice for Liam and ensure his death doesn't go unanswered. Comment hashtag justice for Liam Payne to support the call for justice. Liam Payne spent time with two sex workers, Aldana Milagro Serrano and Lucila Marianella Goitea, just hours before his tragic death. The women met Payne through an escort website and were with him at his Buenos Aires hotel, where they drank alcohol before leaving after a payment dispute. Witnesses reported Payne was upset and agitated in his final hours, pacing and arguing about money. A 911 call later revealed Payne had overindulged in drugs and alcohol before his fatal fall from a hotel balcony. Drugs found in Liam Payne's system, including pink cocaine, crack cocaine, and methamphetamine, are linked to his tragic fall from a Buenos Aires hotel balcony. Authorities discovered drugs, alcohol, and smashed furniture in his room, suggesting a substance-induced breakdown before his death. Investigators have ruled out foul play and are now probing who supplied the drugs. Fans and the music world are mourning Payne's loss as his family arranges for his body to be repatriated to the UK. Test results shedding more light on the death of former One Direction singer Liam Payne. TMZ reports toxicology results show Payne had something called pink cocaine in his system when he died. That's a mix of cocaine and crack. He also had an Argentine version of methamphetamine. Police also found alcohol, various prescription medications in his room. Payne died earlier this month when he plunged off a third floor balcony at his hotel in Buenos Aires. It's a cocktail of drugs and that's what makes it really dangerous. It's not standardized, so you don't really know what you're getting. It has no cocaine in it per se, but it has a combination of other drugs. Some of the common ones include uh, methamphetamine, which is a stimulant or upper, but also two hallucinogenic drugs like ketamine, famous for uh, implicated in Matthew Perry's death, and of course, uh, ecstasy or MDMA. Both of those, ketamine and MDMA, can make you see things when you're not when they're not there, they or feel things. They're hallucinogenic, um, and ketamine in high doses can make you unconscious. Talk to me more about the makeup of pink cocaine. So you say you don't exactly know what's going to be in each batch. How much of a difference could there be depending on your geography or depending on simply which batch you get? Uh, a huge difference. Uh, there's a huge difference in price. There's a huge difference in the components. Had its origins in the 70s, but didn't really pick up until 2010 in Colombia. And from South America, it made its way to Europe and now mainly to New York City. Uh, and that's what we're seeing it. Very unsanitized. Um, and I think the most concerning thing to a lot of substance abuse experts is that uh, they've seen more introduction of uh, more addictive uh, drugs, um, you know, like fentanyl. And if you have more fentanyl, of course, it's not only addictive, but very small amounts can instantly kill you. You know, I think the pink part of this is part of what's fascinating people about this drug. Could there be a chemical reason for its coloring? Why is it pink? Is it likely just for aesthetic effect? Yeah, it's just really for marketing and to distinguish itself from other drugs in the market. Um, it's a lovely day uh, here. either red food coloring or even strawberry 
um, die. So I, 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 I think the there are a lot of where uh, Liam Payne died uh, after falling off a, a products people balcony. can use. But the uniform thing is that it's all pink and it's easily identifiable um, as um, a brand. Singing his songs in mourning. I, I can't explain how I feel right now. I'm shaking. As questions swirl over the circumstances of his death. With reports saying Payne had been acting aggressively and erratically in the hotel's lobby moments before the tragedy. Audio obtained by the Associated Press revealing this 911 call before his death by the hotel manager speaking in Spanish. The manager then saying he was scared for the guest's life. Morning, everybody. Payne had been in Argentina since early October when he attended a concert of former One Direction bandmate Niall Horan, sharing this photo of the two. In Snapchat photos and videos posted in the hours before his fall, he wondered about dressing as Forrest Gump for Halloween. He also shared this final photo with girlfriend Kate Cassidy. The photo was actually taken a year earlier. Cassidy was with Payne on the trip, but had returned to the United States a few days earlier. Payne leaves behind one seven-year-old son, Bear. And that image just haunting of him looking up at the billboard of his father. Now, authorities in Argentina are investigating the circumstances of his death, conducting an autopsy. This tragedy is prompting a tidal wave of grief, and along it, with it, a lot of soul-searching questions. A memorial for singer Liam Payne is taking place in Hyde Park in London this afternoon, organised by One Direction fans. The 31-year-old was found dead in Argentina on Wednesday afternoon after falling from the balcony of his third-floor hotel room. And these pictures live into us, as you can see, hundreds, if not possibly thousands of people gathering to pay tribute. Our correspondent, Alice Porter, is there for us. Alice. Devastating video showing Liam Pink comparing tattoos and talking with his fans outside his hotel just days before his tragic death. The One Direction star died after falling from the third floor of his hotel yesterday, leaving his fans in shock. Liam took time to make his fans' dream come true earlier in the week by posing for pictures, signing autographs and listening to their stories. One fan credited Liam with saving my life and grew emotional meeting his hero. It prompted Liam to give the man a hug before they compared matching arrow tattoos on their arm. In another clip, Liam sang in Spanish to a female fan after she asked him if he'd been listening to any of the locals' music. There was also a montage of the smiling pop star meeting and greeting supporters, some of whom mirrored his smile while others broke down in tears. A 911 call was made by a frantic hotel manager requesting urgent assistance before Liam died. He was staying at the Hotel Casa Sur in the neighbourhood of Palermo, where crowds of fans flocked to pay their respects as the news of the singer's death spread. <laughs> What you see here is one of the last videos posted by Liam Payne right before he tragically died at the age of 31. Good morning, everybody. Here's a little video of me. It's rude to put hats on the table. Sorry. Is it your hat? Yeah. Children. A lovely day here in Argentina. This is the breakfast table. I'm just eating an orange. Just enjoying coffee and breakfast, even though it's like 1 p.m. Literally, we sleep in every day until at least 12. I'm such losers. No. No. Liam Payne's cause of death has been revealed. An early autopsy saying among Liam's 25 injuries, his severe head trauma alone was enough to kill the 31-year-old singer, who plummeted three stories from his hotel balcony on Wednesday in Buenos Aires. We need to send someone in urgently because, well, I don't know if it's going to be a risk of the life of the guest. It's a habitation que tiene balcón y bueno, estamos un poco con temor de que haga algo. Paramedics pronounced Liam dead at the scene. It's unknown if he was with anyone before his 45-foot fall, 
which police also haven't confirmed to be intentional or accidental. But we know investigators are not leaning towards foul play. And the 911 call from Liam's hotel hinted at a chaotic scene